Um, well, it's nice to finally see something designed with Canadians in mind and our specific challenges. Absolutely. So uh, with with what we've seen with the software that's available, and we, of course, have had to use it for years. And what we found over the years is that you actually get you get more features that you don't need each year. Mm -hmm. The price goes up and uh, the the process of doing what you do every day, which is creating nice, compelling proposals and giving them to your customers has gotten more arduous over time. It's more. Than Hi, everyone. Today on The Convo, we have Tom Rendell joining us to talk about the solar market in Nova Scotia and to discuss a new exciting tool for solar sales in the Canadian market. Hi, Tom. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, Sophia. Thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, my name's Tom. I'm one of the directors of What's Up Solar, which is a company that operates in Nova Scotia. Uh, we've been in the solar market here for getting close to 10 years now, and uh, things have definitely gotten exciting here in the last couple of years with all the incentives and rebates that are available. It's a very lively market at the moment. I was also hoping you could tell us a little bit about the current challenges the solar industry is facing. Sure. Uh, at the moment in Nova Scotia, it, as I said, it's a very lively market. So uh, at What's Up Solar, we're seeing in excess of 100 inquiries per month. Um, and that's a lot of work for people to um, sit down and actually uh, create the, the proposals for these, uh, for these clients. Right. Uh, so obviously, it's wonderful that there's, um, uh, there's so much interest in solar at the moment here in Nova Scotia. Um, so I think the biggest struggle for, for companies operating in the province here at the moment is actually crushing that backlog of proposals and getting them out to their clients so that they can uh, hopefully make a sale. Um, this leads me to talk about some of the software options available on the market at the moment. Um, they seem to be uh, catering mostly to the U.S. market where higher definition imagery is more widely available. And this has caused them to make decisions like uh, dropping um, other imagery providers that are more available in rural areas. Uh, so that's obviously hugely important for uh, companies operating in Nova Scotia and the rest of Canada. And many where, places, yeah, across Canada. Many places, of course, sure. yeah, where we have a lot of rural customers that are just as interested in going solar as people living mm, in the, um, the population centers like Halifax. Uh, the other the other transition we're seeing in the uh, solar software market is a push towards 3D designs um, that take what was a very um, simple, fun and, and straightforward process of, of creating uh, uh, an accurate uh, solar design for a customer. And they've um, they've turned that into a process that can take much, much longer. And I mean, we're going from five minutes to 30 minutes and requires uh, a lot of additional training. And you have uh, a, a double problem where if you're expected to use a 3D design tool and you're not being offered uh, HD imagery, uh, now you're really in a mess in a rural area trying to use um, blurry Google Maps imagery with a 3D design tool. Um, you've gone and made what could have been a, a pretty simple and easy straightforward process and you've turned it in to a lot of work for people at a time when there's a huge interest and influx of potential customers. Um, so our company and many others, I know they're looking to uh, complete proposals quickly, get them out to their customers and try to shorten that time uh, of, of processing that backlog rather than make it longer. Right. And do you have a tool that you're able to show us today to kind of help with this, this current challenge? Yes, I'd like to show you what our solution at What's Up has been. And uh, so I'll just share my screen here. Okay, so you can see uh, from this page here, uh, this is the preview page um, for creating a quote. Um, you'll see here the contact details for the customer pre-populated here. That's because uh, they filled in the contact form on the website. So there's no copying uh, any details over. Uh, it's all just um, preloaded in for you here. Um, as you can see, we have Google Maps available, but we would definitely like to see if we can get a better image than this. Uh, looks like we also have Bing here, but that's not much good to anybody. Um, pictometry is probably available here as well. We'll see what we get back from the API. And oh, it looks nice. a lot nicer than Google, so that's pretty good there. But I'm pretty sure we have NearMap here, and NearMap is uh, definitely the GOAT when it comes to uh, imagery. So let's go ahead and get started on a quote. I'm excited to show you guys just how quickly 
you can get solar proposals done with this software. So here we go. We want to start drawing. Um, here's our first array, array is going to be south facing here and pre-populates our panels in here. And you'll see we already have some calculations done on the fly. So PV Watts tells us that uh, this array of 22 panels is uh, estimated to produce just shy of 12,000 kilowatt hours a year. Uh, and that's an efficiency of uh, just under 1,100 kilowatt hours per kilowatt DC. Uh, so let's go ahead and just adjust these a little bit. Uh, move them into the center. Looks like we've got a stink pipe here we could avoid. And maybe we'll chop this panel off as well. Uh, and then uh, we know there's no obstructions on the roof. And of course, we can go ahead and zoom in here and look at this little section down here and maybe add a couple more panels. Ooh, bring our offset up a little bit. Bring that offset up. As we know, most people are looking to get as close to 100% as they can. And we can also sneak a, a landscape panel in here as well, it looks like. So uh, maybe even perhaps two of them. We'll try that. Oh. So, so there we go. A uh, couple nice arrays there. And um, we see we're getting pretty close to 100% offset. And we probably use the better parts of this roof here. So uh, we'll go ahead and finish up the drawing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to save that picture for us along with all of our PV watts calculations. And then we come through to oh, our wow. uh, quote page here. So this is where we'll be able to adjust our uh, pricing, uh, you'll see everything's pre-populated here based on the bill of materials. So we already have a value set for our panels or in, and inverters, uh, uh, which means that the, the pricing table uh, doesn't need to be adjusted. Um, we work with a you know, modular pricing for our equipment. Um, so it makes it very, very easy to just uh, pre-populate your costs uh, based on what you've applied to the quote. And you can also have incentives auto added as well. So everything is pre-calculated as soon as you come back from the, the draw page. Uh, this is where you would make changes to your utility. And of course, we have the uh, customer details and notes here as well. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the quote actually looks like. This is what the customer oh, nice. would see. Uh, all the essential details are here. You've got your payback period, your 30 year savings, some nice graphs showing your monthly production, consumption. Uh, and of course, a 30 year projection of monthly power bills with and without that solar system uh, payback period, telling us just exactly when we can expect uh, to see uh, this investment paid off. And I wanted to show you just quickly uh, some dynamic variables here, we can come and put payback period in on this section and we'll see uh, it's an 11.44 year payback. That's gonna line up with the, with the graph right here. Um, equipment details, pricing table, spec sheets and documents that are added to your equipment. And of course, uh, a spot down here for them to sign. Uh, this is all very highly customizable. Um, I wanna show you that uh, we can also jump back here and very, very quickly add in a storage option. So we're gonna say sunlight backup plus storage. And for this quote option, we're gonna add the IQ controller three and an IQ 5P. That's a nice five kilowatt hour battery from Enphase. We'll go ahead and create that. And now we actually have a second quote option here uh, for the customer to look at. And when they view either of the quotes, they'll be able to see both of them side by side. Oh, cool. Nice, nice comparison chart. And they can swap between the two and, um, and uh, compare all the options that you've given them. So we're finding in the industry, it's very, very common now. It's almost a standard to offer an option with uh, storage as well. It's something that a lot of people are interested in. Mm -hmm. Even if they're not thinking about doing it uh, this year, uh, they wanna see the cost for it and they wanna know um, what, what it looks like. So mm -hmm. we, we think it brings a lot to the table. Um, we, uh, for, the, for the very same reasons that we wanted to develop this in the first place, we feel that lots of other people who uh, do the same thing we do, if your day-to-day -day mm -hmm. job is, is uh, selling solar panels, um, we think you're gonna like this software. Well, thank you for running that demo. That was a really interesting tool, but now it left me wondering, why open it up to your competition? If it's uh, increasing your sales and working so well for you, why do you want to share it with the market? Why now? <laughs> uh, this is a great question. Um, so I, anyone who's working in the solar industry in Canada is astutely aware of the fact that we really are an afterthought. 
Um, this is the case when it comes to, you know, uh, equipment suppliers, um, all the way to, uh, in, in many cases, rebates and incentives. Um, there's, uh, and this is true for software as well, there's very little available in Canada. Uh, and even when it isn't available in Canada, it, it, it is not, um, it's not catering to the, the Canadian population. Um, so to give you an example here, we've seen a lot of uh, the software that's available is moving towards 3D designs. Uh, they might be very nice, but um, it's not speedy or efficient. Uh, it takes what should be a, a small amount of work and turns it into uh, a, a pretty lengthy time consuming process that requires more training. Um, and right now we're in a market that is moving very, very quickly. Uh, I've talked to many customers who are, uh, if they don't get a quote within a week from, from a company after they've reached out, it doesn't matter if they get a quote, they're not even going to look at it that you took too long to respond. Um, so we think that the market on the whole, uh, really needs to, to, to leave room for a uh, software that is quick and efficient. Um, and that's what, uh, a lot of a lot of the stuff that is is available ha has has always had that, but they're shifting away from that focus uh, more to, to to something different. Um, well, it's nice to finally see something designed with Canadians in mind and our specific challenges. Absolutely. So uh, with with what we've seen with the software that's available, and we of course have had to use it for years. We've we've uh, we've been using the software that's available uh, for five, six, seven years. And what we found over the years is that you actually get you get more features that you don't need each year. Mm -hmm. The price goes up, and uh, the the process of doing what you do every day, which is creating nice, compelling proposals and giving them to your customers has gotten more arduous over time. It's more difficult than it ever used to be. Uh, they've removed imagery options. So now you're stuck with just near map and just Google. Mm -hmm. And if that doesn't work for you, you're, you're, you're out of luck, I'm afraid. Um, so we wanted to come up with something that uh, really tries to uh, focus on these pain points. Uh, another, another example of this is that so many of these um, software suites, they want to charge per user. Uh, and this actually leads companies to deciding on one user who's going to send all the proposals because they don't want to pay for multiple seats each month. Oh, it's a lot um, of pressure for that one user. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. We're a pretty, we're, we have a strong sales team with, uh, with a lot of people who are pushing out proposals uh, all the time. As I said, we're, we're, we're trying to manage uh, upwards of 100 proposals per month. And we wouldn't be able to do that with the software that exists in the market at the moment. Amazing. Right. Thank you. Thank you.